Hey guys, it's Julia, designer at the Quilty Cow, and today's tutorial is on the Helpful Heifer 30 ounce stand. Before we begin, I'd like to thank my sponsors, Husqvarna Viking Sewing Machines, Creative Grids Rulers, Mats and Rotary Cutters, and Wilmington Prints. Let's begin! heifer 30 ounce stand is the absolute perfect accessory for any of your handled cup needs. You can strap it on and go hands free the entire day. You can find this kit on our website at thequiltycow.com or on our Facebook lives on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Let's begin with the first step. Once you have all of your materials cut out, you're going to begin by prepping your pieces. So to prep these main and lining pieces, we're going to just fold it under and press it a half inch to the wrong side of your fabric. And you'll repeat this step for both ends of your main and your lining. Then we need to move on and start prepping our casing fabric as well. Those are your long strips. So what we need to do is once again, press our ends a half inch to the wrong side on both ends of your casing. Press it to hide that raw edge. And then we're gonna fold our casing strip in half wrong sides together and press it in the center. You'll repeat that step for both of your casing strips as well. Once you have all these pieces prepped, we're gonna set them aside and start working on our strap. So once you have your strap fabric, we're gonna once again, just press a half inch, hiding those raw edges. Repeat that on both ends of your strap. Once your ends are both tucked under, we are going to fold our fabric in half, wrong sides together, and press it to start forming our strap. Once you have your strap fabric pressed in half, we're gonna open it back up and we're gonna tuck our long raw edges to the center crease. And then we're gonna fold it in half again. You'll need some pins or clips to hold this together as you go. Once you have your strap completely pressed in half, it's time to sew it. So what we're gonna do is step to our sewing machine and sew an eighth inch around all four sides. Let's go sew. Once you have sewn a top stitch around your entire strap, we can now set this aside and start working on our tab piece. So what you wanna do for this tab piece is you wanna fold it so it is short sides touching and give it a press so you can find a nice center crease. Once you have it pressed, we're gonna open it back up and we're gonna take one of our Velcro pieces and we're gonna take our loop fabric, which is the softer one. The hook has the rough bumpies, little hooks on it. And we're just gonna set that rough piece aside. We're gonna be working on the loop and we're gonna press it a quarter inch right on one side of the, nope. We're gonna press it a quarter inch right on one side of the pressed crease line. And then we're just gonna stitch it in place. Make sure you have your tab opened up. Once you have the loop side of your Velcro attached, we're going to fold our fabric in half so right sides are together hiding that loop fabric right inside. We're gonna to step to our machine and sew a quarter inch seam down both of these long strips, leaving the end of this open. Your short ends are gonna be open. Let's step to our machine. Once you have your tab side sewn, we're gonna turn it right side out so that our Velcro is back on the outside. Now you can use anything you'd like to poke out your corners. I'm gonna use this little flamingo stiletto because I absolutely love it and it's adorable. So once we have our tab turned right side out, we're going to put the Velcro side down on our pressing mat and press it so it's flat. We don't want to take any risk that our Velcro will melt under our iron. Now that our seams are pressed smooth, we are going to sew along both, all three of the finished edges, leaving the end open. Let's go do a top stitch. Once you have top stitched your tab, we can now set this piece aside as well. So the next thing we're gonna start 
The next thing we're going to work on is our top tabs. For the 30 ounce stand, it has two more Velcro straps at the top of it to hold it above your handle. So we're going to take our squares and press one edge under a quarter inch or half inch. And then we are going to fold our fabric in half in the same manner that we did with the strap. To find the center crease, we're going to tuck our edges under and then fold it in half again and that will create our top tab. You're going to repeat those steps to make two tab pieces and then we're going to step to our sewing machine and sew an eighth inch top stitch around all the finished edges. Once you have top stitched both of your tab pieces, it's time to use our other little piece of Velcro. So if you're using a directional print, this will matter where you have to put one on one side, but I always just flip it until I sign, find the pretty side that I want. So if this is gonna be the image I want on the outside, I'm gonna put my hook Velcro on one side and my loop Velcro on the other. And whenever we get these Velcros attached, they'll sew together just like this, whenever it's a finished product. So let's go sew our Velcro strips right onto the ends of our little tabs. You may need to trim your Velcro down depending on how wide the end of your tab is. Mine's fitting just perfect. Now once you have your top tabs finished, we're just gonna set these pieces aside and we're gonna go and attach our other hook Velcro from our earlier step. Now the hook Velcro is gonna go on the left-hand side of your main fabric and we're going to put it in the center about a quarter of an inch from the edge seam and we're going to attach it in place here. Let's go sew it. Once we have our hook Velcro attached on the left hand side, it's time to assemble our stand holder. So for this next piece, we're going to need our casing strips for the top and the bottom we'll need our main and our lining fabrics. So we are just going to line up all the raw edges along the top. Now you can base these in place if you'd like, or you can just put some pins or clips in them. But we're gonna line up one casing strip with the raw edges on top and one casing strip with the raw edges on the bottom. Once we have our casing strips attached to our main fabric with the Velcro, we're gonna take our lining fabric and place it right sides together, right on the top. I'm gonna to add this into my clips and we're gonna sew a quarter inch seam along the top and the bottom of this project. Let's go sew. Once you have sewn the top and the bottom, we're going to turn our project right side out through either one of the ends. Once again, with the Velcro facing down, I'm just going to give this project a press, make it nice and flat. Make sure your ends are staying tucked under. Now that our project is completely pressed flat, we are going to attach our tab fabric on the opposite side. So if our hook fabric is here, we're going to attach our loop fabric to the right. And we're gonna place it face down and tuck it in a half inch inside of our tab. Now you can fold your fabric in half. You can fold your project in half and make sure that your pieces are going to line up exactly like you'd like, or you may measure the exact center mark. But once we have this in place, I'm just gonna place some clips in it so we can get our tab attached. Now that that's clipped in place, we are going to do our top tabs. So here are our two top tab pieces and you wanna take the loop Velcro and match it on the side that has the loops and the hook Velcro and match it on the side that has the hooks. So I am going to place my loop Velcro face down and tuck my tab all the way into my casing strip to where your Velcro is meeting right at the top. This gives the top of your project a little more stability. I'm gonna place my hook Velcro facing right side up, just like my hook Velcro on my other side. 
Once again, I'm gonna add a clip and attach that right in place. The next step we're going to do is to sew a seam to keep these tabs in place. And I am not going to sew into my bottom casing strip because we'll need that open for our elastic in the next step. Once you have the right side of your project sewn shut, we are going to add our elastic strap. Now you can thread it with anything you choose. You can use a teal thingy. I am going to use this bodkin. I think it's perfect for the job. And what we're gonna do is just thread our tip through the bottom casing and our elastic will hang out one side. We're gonna pull it until our elastic is even and then we're going to sew to hold this piece in place. Once we have stitched one side of our elastic, we can pull to gather this as much as we would like. So the bottom of a cup is about nine inches. So that's the width we're gonna need to use. Once you have your project, nope. Once you have your project gathered to where the end is nine inches, we are just going to stitch this in place. You can take your bodkin or your threading tool off at any time and we're going to stitch all the way down, holding this top tab in place as well. Once you have your elastics nice and secure, both sides of your casing should be completely closed, both sides of the center should be completely closed, and your project's ready to trim. Let's trim our elastic off of our bottom section. I'm gonna use my favorite little rotary cutter, this amazing Creative Grids ruler, or nope, this amazing Creative Grids rotary cutter. I absolutely love the weighted rotary cutters, guys. So once you have your project nice and trimmed, we are going to fold it so, nope, we are going to fold it in half so the Velcros are going to line up in the center and our bottom edge is gonna get stitched closed. The rest of our project will be completely left open, which is why we have the Velcro tabs. Let's step to our machine and stitch the bottom. Now that the bottom is secure, we are just going to check and make sure all of our Velcro straps are in the correct locations. We've got the base of our project ready. Now all that's left is we need to attach our strap. So our first tab of our strap is going to attach right to the Velcro strap on the back side. We're gonna run two lines of stitches to make sure it's nice and secure. Let's step to our machine. Now that we have our strap attached to our Velcro tab, we are just going to fold our project in half so that we can find the center of the other side. And that is where our strap is going to get attached on the inside of the casing strip. So you wanna make sure that your strap is not twisted. And then we're just going to put it on the opposite side so it's right across from each other. And then we're just gonna keep it right in this top casing section. And once again, run two strips of stitches right across the top and bottom of the casing. Now that you have your strap completely attached, your stand is ready to insert your cup. Once again, this project works on any handled tumbler. You can find the kit on our website at thequiltycow.com or on our Facebook Lives on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Please like and subscribe for more tutorials and thanks for watching. Okay, you wicked cool quilters, good job. You made it to the end. We would like to thank our sponsors, Husqvarna Viking Sewing Machines, Creative Grids, Rulers, Rotary Cutters and Mats, and Wilmington Prints for the beautiful fabrics. Thanks for watching.